Greetings, Saber Right. A little PSA. Um, a lot of arguments and, and discussions around on some of the Saber forums and all of that kind of thing when dealing with hilts and all that kind of thing is blades. And what's the best blade out there? And um, I get asked that a whole lot. Uh, we at TPLA get asked a whole lot. And um, we don't have a really good answer because most of the blades, as far as we can tell, are pretty much the same. Um, some of them are different thicknesses and, and all of that kind of thing. However, one thing all blades have in common, and I have yet to find one that does not do this, and I think anybody that does sabering for any length of time knows what I'm about to say, is losing the tip. No matter what blade you get, you will lose the tip. We have tried lots of blades. We have tried, uh, well, probably most of them that are on the market. Ones I've, I've gotten from GCS, from Saber Z, from uh, Obi Shane, Saber Forge, all throughout the map. Every single one of them loses their tip. This is just something that you are going to have to deal with. So, get a blade that you can replace the tip. Be prepared to replace that tip. If you don't believe me, watch this. Every blade maker, every company out there, whether you do it yourself, whether you do a, a, a little rig, it's only a matter of time before you're going to just pop it right off. So that should not be a consideration when going into uh, the hilts. Blades pretty much by and large are all very, very uh, dual worthy. We don't have any problem with them. It's just the gauge and the thickness that, that you would have to go with. So, just a little tip, ha ha ha, have a good day, happy savory.